Hey everyone, this is Mike Mello, Broker Associate at Preferred Real Estate Brokers. Got a special treat for you today. We're gonna to actually go take a drive to Islesworth. Now Islesworth is a one of the, the top neighborhoods or the most luxurious neighborhoods here in the Central Florida area. Lots of celebrities live there. So very desirable. It's in Windermere, Florida. So let's go ahead and start to drive over to Windermere and show you the community. I think you'll all enjoy the homes that I'm about to show you in Islesworth. So here we are in uh, Conway Windermere Road heading towards downtown Windermere and we're passing the north entrance to Islesworth right here as you can see. Now we won't be going into this entrance, we're going to go into the west entrance so we're going to take a drive through the downtown Windermere traffic circle and then go a little bit south and find that west entrance and talk a little bit about the, the homes that are on Lake Butler as well as we do that. So here we are approaching the center of Windermere. Now Windermere is a pretty small town of only 1.91 square miles and it's nestled between three lakes, uh, Lake Butler, Lake Bessie, and Lake Down. And this city was actually established in 1925, but in 1887, the first post office was built here and also the first schoolhouse. That schoolhouse is actually still here standing. It's one of the few remaining one, one room of schoolhouses in the state of Florida that still exist. So as we come through here, we're gonna go around this roundabout. Uh, as soon as this car moves forward here a little bit, we'll be able to go around. And what I'll be able to point out is right ahead of us is going to be the city library here in this parking lot here. And then right next to that is going to be the town hall. And then we just take the roundabout and we're going to end up going south because that's the direction of the west entrance of Islesworth. So just uh, hold on and we'll be there very shortly and I can tell you all about Islesworth. So here we are very close to Islesworth right now. Right in front of us is Lake Butler. So Islesworth was originally um, named due to the um, orange crops that were here where they weren't necessarily affected by the cold snaps in the winter. It was owned by the Chase family who in 1984 sold the actual property to Arnold Palmer who developed um, the large golf course for wealthy members. In 1993, the actual community was sold to Tavistock, which is a huge organization and actually also developed the Lake Nona Medical Center. Um, and um, they helped develop all the large and expensive homes in the area. So Islesworth is currently home to a championship 18 hole golf course that was actually designed by Arnold Palmer. And also it is one of the most desirable golfing communities in the nation. So over to the right is part of Islesworth as well. There's 24 homes there, 14 of which are on Lake Butler, but we'll be going to the left here and going into the main section of Islesworth and touring some of the homes and talking about some of the pricing of the homes and some of the features of the homes as we go through that area. Welcome to Islesworth. And before we get started, I want to make sure that if you like these videos, make sure you like, subscribe, and even set the alert button so that you get more of my videos as they come out. We do do a lot of new model home tours and community reviews. So if you're interested in any sort of real estate in the Central Florida area or real estate in general, make sure you like our channel. So here we are coming up on our first home. This one here on the right is 6,729 square feet. It's three bedrooms with six bathrooms. And a lot of the homes in Islesworth have been in the family for a long time. And last sale on this one was 1992. All the homes that we're seeing on this side, they're gonna have views of the golf course and then past the golf course, it's gonna be Lake Louise. So as we come up here, we're gonna have another home here that uh, just recently sold the one here in front of the um, Atlas moving van. That one was 4,676 square feet, sold for 1.3 million in uh, December of 2018. And then uh, this one here that you see that they're doing all the work on, this one sold in September of 2018 for 2.125 million, 6,993 square feet. And then this one is actually one of the more recent ones. This is a beautiful home. It sold for $2 million in August of 2019, and it's got 6,900 square feet. So nice size home there as well. It had uh, six bedrooms and eight baths. So really huge. And as we're coming up here, this one here, um, this one also sold recently, 7,696 square feet. The one's right here in front of the Bentley and the Rolls Royce, sold for $3.25 million. And then we have one coming up here that's gonna be active. This one's not active. This one is uh, 6,189 square feet, but this one's active right now for 3.7 million. It's 7,229 square feet with five bedrooms and five and a half baths. 
So here is part of the golf course behind this uh, landscaping and it goes to the country club that they have here that we'll talk about in another video. But we come up on a, a set of three homes here. This one here that we see in front of us is 6,183 square feet. Uh, with four bedrooms and five and a half baths. But the really interesting one is the one that's at the end of this cul-de-sac. That one there in the distance, that one's 11,391 square feet with nine bedrooms and 11 bathrooms. And that one was actually purchased in 2007 for 4.3 million. And then it was purchased again in 2012 for a fraction of that cost. And this last one, this last one we just passed is 6,153 square feet with four bedrooms and five baths. So as we come through here, now you can probably see a little bit more of the golf course through all the landscaping. We're about to come up on Payne Stewart Drive, which goes to the Country Club, which is an amazing country club with amazing amenities. It's right down here. We'll do that in a different video. And then also it has all the uh, tennis courts and different things and even uh, the ramp for uh, launching the boats into the chain of lakes that we have. So as we drive by some more of these homes, I want to talk a little bit about Islesworth. Out of the top 100 most expensive mansions here in the Central Florida area, Islesworth is home to over a third of those homes. And Islesworth has been home or is home to quite a few famous people such as Shaquille O'Neal, Ken Griffey Jr., Tiger Woods, and many others, including many business owners like David Siegel who owns Westgate Timeshare Resorts. And he actually owned a home here in Islesworth, and he still actually owns it. He's renting it out right now. And who's building actually one of the largest homes in the country at the reserve at Lake Butler Sound, which is just a neighboring community here. It has about 90,000 square feet. So it's amazing, amazing community there. If you are interested in seeing that specific home with the 90,000 square feet, make sure you check out um, our YouTube channel or search Mellow Group Reserve at Lake Butler Sound and you'll see uh, that specific community and also that house. Um, this home that we're passing right now is 7,839 square feet. It sold for 2.6 million, but all the way back in 2001, uh, this is uh, one of the smaller ones. It's a 3,154 square feet. It's a four bedroom, three bathroom home and it sold for actually 1.19 million recently in April of 2020. This one here is actually 10,394 square feet. It sold for $5.2 million back in 2018. So that's a pretty large home. It's five bedrooms and six and a half baths. And then coming up the next one, we're gonna have a 6,656 square foot home with five bedrooms and six baths. This one also sold in 2018 and the sold price was $2.5 million. If you're still watching this, make sure you do me a huge favor and go ahead and hit that like button on the YouTube so that this can help with the algorithms and get more people to see this video of this beautiful community. So we're coming up on this home here. This is uh, nearly 8,000 square feet, six bedrooms, seven and a half baths, and it sold for 4.9 million, but all the way back in 2013. Um, the next home here, this one is 6,477 square feet, it's five bedrooms, six and a half baths. It's uh, sold for 2.675 million in 2018. It's a beautiful landscape yard there. And then this one here, this one's 6,077 square feet, it's five bedrooms, six and a half baths also. Um, it sold for 2.3 million in January of 2018. Now this next one, this is actually a really big one. It's on a corner lot um, and it's 13,973 square feet. It's five bedrooms, six and a half baths. I'll go ahead and turn down this road here so that you can see a better view of it. So it's a pretty big home. There are bigger homes in here, uh, much bigger homes than this one here. We'll be seeing those in future videos. So if you're watching this, uh, make sure you do hit that alert button so that as I post future videos of Islesworth, uh, you'll be able to uh, see those and see some of the other huge homes and also celebrity homes in this community. So as we keep on going here, uh, this next one here is uh, going to be 9,234 square feet. It's a six bedroom, six and a half bath home, um, and it actually sold for $4 million uh, back in 2004. So it's a pretty large home there as well. Uh, the next one is a six bedroom and seven bath home. It's a 2.7 million sold in 2013 is 8,221 square feet. And then this one here is going to be uh, five bedrooms and seven baths and uh, 6,400 square feet and sold for 2.9 5 million back in 2015. This one here, uh, seven, a little bit over 7,000 square feet and it sold for 2.25 million in 2012. Uh, this one here, uh, 5,503 square feet, sold for 3.7 million in 2006. Uh, this one here is 
8,707 square feet, five bedrooms, five and a half baths, sold for 2.65 million in 2012. And then this one here is another large one. It's 9,435 square feet. As you can see, it's a lot of space there. Five bedrooms, eight baths, sold for 4.2 million back in 2008. And this is the last one on this block. It's 5,015 square feet. It's a four bedroom and six and a half bath home. So as we come, we'll see some more of the golf course. And we'll be going down this road here, taking you down to some of the uh, Islesworth Gardens area and maybe I'll get out and take a walk through Islesworth Gardens and show you some of the walking trails there as well as we go down there. So let's go ahead and make this turn right here. So we're up by the north entrance, the entrance that we passed earlier in the video when we're going down Conway Windermere Road. Um, but this is a road to the side. We're going around this loop. This one right here is uh, 6,518 square feet and it sold for 1.9 million in 2015. And then this next one's actually for sale. It's uh, 3,866 square feet, four bedrooms, four and a half baths, and it's uh, for sale for 1.549 million. Now, if you do see homes here that you like and you wanna see, or if you want an uh, updated listing of all the homes in this neighborhood, make sure you send me a message at mikemellorealtor at gmail.com, or you can also uh, send me a text at 407-487-3030. I'll be more than happy to send you the current active listings in this neighborhood and other neighborhoods in the area along with if you're looking to sell be more than happy to come over and give you a competitive market analysis of your home so this one here coming up on the right is 8178 square feet it's five bedrooms and six and a half baths it sold for 2.6 million in 2018 this next one sold for 2.6 million in 2016 so same price two years earlier and then this next one coming up Sold for 1.371 million back in 2014. This one here, 4,512 square feet, 1.73 million in 2014 also. This one here is uh, 5,301 square feet. And then this next one is 3,273 square feet, three bedrooms, three baths, sold for 980,000 in 2015. So that was a good price. And then we have this one here is 3,518 square feet, sold for 875 all the way back in 2013. So as we skip over that one, we go go to this one here. This one's 4,805 square feet, sold for 1.4 million in 2016. And then this one coming up here, is actually another active home. It's actually on the market for 1.395 million. It's uh, four bedrooms and three and a half baths with uh, 3,645 square feet. This one here, 4,426 square feet, sold for 2.05 million in February of 2019. This one here is a uh, 3,645 square feet, it's a four bedroom and three bathroom home. And then this next one is uh, another recent sales, 4,186 square feet, four bedrooms, four and a half baths, sold for 1.5 million in February of 2019. And then this one here is 4,100 square feet, four bedrooms, three bathrooms, sold for 1.36 million in December of 2019. So as we come through near the end of this road here, we have this one here is 3,498 square feet, three bedroom, three and a half bath, nice home, nice landscaping there. And then this is the last one on this route, which is a 4,640 square feet, three bedrooms, four and a half baths. It sold for 1.4 million, but all the way back in 2004. So let's go ahead and go past this golf course again. All those homes were actually backing up to the golf course. Um, and then we'll come back up to Islesworth Country Club Drive. Um, and then we'll go back and I'll show you the gardens and the areas of the gardens. So as we come up here, this home here in front of us, we'll see this on another video. I'm gonna be doing a second or maybe even a third video on Islesworth, but this one in front of us is actually 8,089 square feet. It's a five bedroom, six and a half baths, and it sold for 3.7 million in 2014. So here we are on Islesworth Garden Drive. It's a really nice area of the community. It's on the north side of the community, and as you can see, it's beautiful here. They have walking paths that you'll see here in just a minute. See those little walking paths here, and a lot of the homes in their backyard. You can walk out the backyards and join the walking paths and go through these beautiful nature areas that I'll show you in a minute when I get out of the car and do the walking as well. So as we come up here, here's the first home coming up here and this one is actually 4,261 square feet and sold for 1.8 million in 2018 as a three bedroom, three and a half bath home. And then uh, this goes into a cul-de-sac with some other homes down there. And then this one here on the corner is 5,862 square feet, three bedrooms, three and a half baths, sold for 3.062 million back in 2007. And then we have the next one here. This one's 3,745 square feet. It's four bedrooms, four baths, 1.35 million in 2006. This one here, 4,089 square feet, sold for 2.838 million in 2006. 
This one here is 4,333 square feet, three bedrooms, three and a half baths, sold for 1.4 million back in 2011. And then this next one is actually active. It's actually a pretty big home. It's 5,840 square feet. It's a three bedrooms, five bathroom home, and it's active for $1.95 million. And then back here in the distance, see that one in front of the truck there? That one's also for sales, 4,505 square feet. It's four bedrooms, four baths with two half baths for 2.795 million. And you can see all these empty lots here. So there's lots of options. If you want to do new construction, I can help you with that as well. I know some of the new builders here and they'll be more than happy to help you pick the lot and uh, build a new construction home uh, when we find an available lot and a, a builder that you um, do like. So this one here coming up here, this one, is 5,004 square feet is actually relatively new 2018 it's a three bedroom four bath home so here we are walking through uh, some of the garden section in um, Islesworth so this is behind some of the homes in Islesworth Garden Drive and it's really beautiful back here you got some really nice landscaping and natural look with uh, uh, the water and the trees and everything else and um, it's really just a really nice little walk um, if you want to come out here in the evening time and take a walk with the family so i will be doing some more videos of Islesworth going and showing you some more homes and some of the bigger homes we have yet to see um, there's and including the one that's the most expensive listing right now which is at 23 million dollars is over 25,000 square feet so i'll be going and, and driving through those um, um, areas and, and doing those uh, specific homes as well and what I'll be doing is I'll be editing the video afterwards when I get home and we'll be posting it in probably two to three sections I also plan to do some videos from a, a boat uh, renting a boat and doing some pictures from the lakes so you actually get to see the views of these homes from the lakes as well so if you do like this content and you do like to see luxury homes and other new homes uh, make sure you do like and subscribe to the channel and I'm sure you'll be um, you'll enjoy what we what we post here in the future so thanks for watching and i'll leave you for some music uh to end up the video